Determine which of the following acid-base reactions will not favor the products. First, put lone pairs and charges on the atoms and identify the acids and bases on both sides of the reaction. For the forward reaction, identify the acid and the base. The base has electrons to donate and accepts the proton. The acid will accept the electrons and donate its proton to the base. Use arrows to help you understand the bond formation and breaking. On the reactant side of the equilibrium, the red labeled electrons on the base show the formation between the base and the hydrogen. The base is donating its electrons to the acid. The blue electrons on the reactant side illustrates the bond breaking that must occur for the base to form a new sigma bond with the hydrogen. The electrons from the hydrogen bond are transferred to what becomes the conjugate base. For the reverse reaction, identify the conjugate acid and conjugate base and draw an arrow to show electron donation of the base to form the fluorine hydrogen sigma bond and the breaking of the hydrogen oxygen bond on the acid. Now that you have identified the acids and bases on both sides of the equilibrium, determine relative base strength. Since fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, the fluoride ion will be weaker base than the alkoxide ion. The equilibrium will shift to the weaker acid-base pair, the products. Or you can think of it this way. The alkoxide, being the stronger base, wins the tug-of-war for the proton and will form the stronger bond to the hydrogen, shifting the equilibrium to the products. Which side does the equilibrium favor? First put lone pairs and charges on the atoms and identify the acids and bases on both sides of the reactions. The base has electrons to donate and the acid will accept the electrons. The reverse reaction, identify the conjugate acid and the conjugate base and draw an arrow to show the electron donation of the base to form the nitrogen-hydrogen sigma bond and the breaking of the hydrogen bond on the acid. Now that you have identified the acids and bases on both sides of the equilibrium, determine the relative base strength. Since the nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon, the amide ion will be a weaker base than the carb carb anion. The equilibrium will shift to the weaker acid-base pair, the products or the carbanion being the stronger base wins the tug of war for the proton and will form the stronger bond to the hydrogen shifting the equilibrium to the products. Which side does this equilibrium favor? First put lone pairs and charges on the atoms and identify the acid bases on both sides of the reactions. Now that you have identified the acids and bases on both sides of the equilibrium determine relative base strength. Since oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen the alkoxide ion will be the weaker base than the amide ion. The equilibrium will shift to the weaker acid-base pair, or the reactants, or the amide ion being the stronger base wins the tug of war for the proton and will form the stronger bond to the hydrogen, shifting the equilibrium to the reactants.